December 30th, 2006, um, Brandy Norwood, R&B singer, um, was driving uh, pretty fast. She was going 65 miles, 65 miles an hour. She was driving fast. I don't know where she was headed. She was going fast. She was speeding. Um, she wasn't paying attention. She was driving a Land Rover. And um, she was driving fast, not paying attention. Maybe she was on her cell phone. Who knows what she was doing? You know, and she was driving 65 miles an hour, going fast, maybe going home, maybe going going somewhere to the music studio. I don't know where this woman was going. But she was driving pretty fast. And as she was driving, this was on Freeway 405 in Los Angeles. And you already know Los Angeles is pretty busy. There's millions of people driving around. There's people walking around. There's a lot of taxis. There's a lot of stuff going around. And, um, and at the time, 2006 was a very busy year in Los Angeles. Millions and millions of people, were, you know, a lot of tourists, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, she's going pretty fast. She looks up. She, she, she sees a car coming her way. She, she swerves. Um, she tries to avoid the car accident. She tries to avoid hitting the car. So she, she swerves and she accidentally hits a car, um, uh, a Toyota Corolla. A 38-year-old woman was at, was inside the car. She died instantly. She had broken body part. Her, her her body parts were broken. She died because uh, she was she was. Brandy Norwood was going so fast that she couldn't. She didn't have time to stop, you know. And she she tried to avoid the accident, but it still hit the car and it it brought a lot of damages to the car. The 38-year-old woman, you I feel sorry for her. She had two kids, an 11-year-old and a 15-year-old teenager, and they're left without a mother. Motherless now. Um, at the time, they were 11, 15. Now they'll be in their, they would be in their 20s now, mid to late 20s now. Um, but anyway, um, uh, she hits the car, and then the woman dies. And there were supposed to be criminal charges on Brandy Norwood because, but because of her status, because Brandy Norwood is rich and famous, she was supposed to do maybe 10 to life in prison. If she if she had not been famous, if she was like an average person and that and that accident happened at that time, she would have went to prison for life. Um, I and she suffered a lot of uh, she has suffered kind of emotional problems over the accident. Her kids have won three hundred thousand each. You know they won three hundred thousand each, which they probably didn't get to. They were eighteen. She went to court over this, and you know they tried to put her in jail. Criminal charges were supposed to be brought on her, and for manslaughter. Because, but because of her status and celebrity status, she got us. Uh, she she did, she didn't go to prison for it. You know, she didn't she didn't get she didn't get arrested at all. Um, because maybe because number one, she's a female. Number two, because she's she's famous. She got she's a multimillionaire. Like I said, if if she wasn't rich and famous, she probably would have went to jail in prison. Um, she not only that, but there's another guy too who was in, who was involved in the accident, a motorist. Uh, Donald Light is a 52-year-old grown, grown man, a man in his 50s. He tried to sue. He wanted to have her sit to prison or sue her, um, but it never happened. The charges were dropped. He actually suffered. He was also involved in the collision, and he suffered uh, injuries, uh, lifelong injuries. He's, he's injured. Maybe I think he's handicapped. He can't walk. So, but because it, the reason it's not in the media and people aren't talking about this, because at the time this happened, in 2006, social media was not popular. I mean, social media was out there, but not like now. It's, the year is 2020. She's a grown woman in her 40s now. She has a kid. She's married. She has a life now. But at the time in 2006, social media was not like it is now. Like every everybody's taking pictures and you know posting stuff on every two minutes. It wasn't like that back in 2006. So she's lucky. If this happened now, in 2020, she'd be in some huge trouble, you know. But anyway. Her parents, the woman that she killed, accidentally killed. You know, it's never talked about because she feels she's, you know, she had some mental, she has a couple of mental problems over this. You know, this really, this ruined her life really mentally. You know, it it took her a long time to come back into the spotlight and start singing. She's been doing some music again. She did an album, uh, album with Monica in 2012. Uh, the boy, you know, she in in like I said, I you know, her parents, the 38 woman that she hit with the car, they want to sue her for 50 million dollars that at the time I don't think she, that would have left her broke during the Norwood. I don't think she had that much money at the time you know that would have let her that would have left her homeless but anyway everything was dropped charges was dropped she won the case she didn't go to jail she didn't go to prison she didn't get probation she you know because of her status because she's a multi-millionaire famous celebrity she was on Brand, the Moesha show and she was a famous singer in the 1990s because of her past 
uh, it, because of her her past and because she's female. She got a it, just like O.J. Simpson was accused of what he did and he got away with it in '95. Um, sometimes they treat celebrities like they're kings and queens, but if if she was poor, there's there would be no way she would have gotten off with that. But um, she suffered uh, depression for a couple years. She didn't leave the house. She got into religion. She got into gospel music. You know, and uh, so right now she's doing pretty good in life. She's been touring around the world doing concerts. Uh, on top of that, at the time, 2006, this is like a curse of her. Uh, it's just like a curse for her, because a year uh, in 2005, her 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 best friend uh, Lamont Bentley, um, whatever his name is, <laughs> uh, I think Bentley, whatever his name, he, he played Hakeem on the Moesha, the dark skinned guy, who was her best friend, uh, Lamont Bent, but he died in a car accident himself. A year earlier, in January of 2005, 2005, he had died in a car accident, you know, which left his body mutilated. You know, he, he died in a brutal car accident, you know. But, um, like I said, I feel sorry for Brandy Norwood, but right now she's doing pretty good in life. You know, this was 14 years ago. It was a long time ago. It was in the past, you know, but this, 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 she has never really gotten over that, you know. But I just wanted to give you people the inside scoop. And I'll talk about her, the guy who played on the Moesha show, too that died, you know, so she has suffered a lot of problems in her life, the, the, the fact that she had a car accident, which killed a woman, a 30-year-old woman, her parents tried to sue her, you know, and then some other people tried to sue her too, so she, and, and she could have went to prison, she locked herself in the house for a couple years, you know, she's just now getting back into the world and doing music and doing, touring around the world, the United States, but, um, wow, and then a year earlier, in 2005, her friend had died, had, had, had you know, had got killed in a car, had car accident, you know, and she suffered from depression then, so it's horrible. Mr. J here, peace.